Maybe you hear Commissioner Masit. I think Masit is back. Yeah. We can hear you now, Masit. We can hear you, Masit. You can hear me. We can hear you. If you don't mind, if you can put, touch yeah, your you. video icon. Thank you so much. Yes, it's the wind where I am. Um, thank you, my partisan committee. Thank you, all members, for giving us this opportunity. Uh, I want to just say a few words, as because, as you know, I still have a case in court. I have appealed at the Human Rights and Constitutional Court and my removal. And some things are being canvassed in court. But I want to say in brief, what was done in four months was not verification and telling of elections. When we were announcing all of us, what we were announcing were unwritten summaries, which were to be taken, to be typed, and to be brought back for commission. And each commissioner to check what they had written and what they had been typed if it is in order. It went one way. Two, um, two when the results came, it came only in three pages. And it was a summary in counties which exceeded 100%. That's where the dispute started from. How could we announce results which are over 100% and we have not been given contact for C or summaries we wrote from constituencies to confirm whether what we announced and what have been typed is the same. Up to today, we've never seen from, the, from 34C. Again, what happened in formulas, we had not finished even announcing 27 constituencies. The screen was technically put up for Kenyans not to see what was going on. And when we asked, it became an issue. Informers were removed from our committees. I chair legal affairs committee. And that's what I used to chair. But one week to election, chairman wrote us letters, putting me logistics, welfare, and security in Rwandan, putting Cherera at a... Um, at the communication center, Nyangaya protocol, to remove us from results and assign results to Collier and Marchand only, with letters written specifically which are part of the process which are in court. We are never in court. We are never told anything. And when we wanted to say, they said we wanted to attack the people. Yet, when the security team came, there were no results. The one, there was nothing, even you could even you could not even talk of results because at that time there were no results. If anything, they just said there was tension in the country and we, there was no stream showing and we are taking so long. We should we should uh, ascend to ease the tension in the country. So uh, up to now we don't know the results and it's very important that we audit these results. Very, very important because when we audit and uh, even made uh, open to everybody. Even those people who have been elected and who lost as MPs and even others, they know their results. Because I want to say, this was not telling. There was not telling. There was no verification. It was just, uh, it, it is not, I, I don't know what to say about it as a commission. It's a shame for our country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner Masit Will uh, and Cherera. Please, we'll ask you to just stay online. We take a few yeah. questions. Yeah, I want to go first. Uh, why are you not here with us? Is it because of security concerns on the part of two of you? Of course, we take note of uh, what Commissioner Masit has said. Uh, some of the matters are still in court. But for the benefit of the country, are you safe? Are you why are you out of the country? Thank you. Yes, Chair. Maybe first confirm yeah. whether you're out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. I'm outside of the country for security reasons. Okay. Remember I come from Rift Valley. Uh -huh. Before that even they said I betrayed the community. In the Facebook, in all social media I was saying, I've never stepped in my home. Things that I I've never been called here on the room. That time, I got calls, people telling me to drop the case, what am I doing, so many things, but I believe it's my constitutional right because I know what I did and what I didn't do. So it is because of security reasons. I'm out of the country and we're not doing even well because even the salaries we had, they were stopped. Even, even the one third when I'm doing the case. So we are living at the mercy of people 
outside. So, when Commissioner Carrera talk on a beer on a cell, but mine is a long story. I don't want to say, say so many details because I told you other case important is because of security reasons. Thank you. Uh, uh, Irene, this is Eugene Wamalo we in college together. We yes, are, we are actually the same year. The you're same on year campus together year. at the university. You. Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> yes, you know, Ishunga likes saying the school because we went to our land, but uh, <laughs> ours was the University of Nairobi. We, we, we're very sorry on, to on hear a light that. Note, on a light note, at least now we know how you know <laughs> Commissioner Irene. We are. <laughs> no, Irene, we are sorry to hear that uh, you're out of the country and. Uh, 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 Literally, from what you explain, him, because the whole country is listening, it's like you're in exile or something. Did you receive specific yeah. threats? What about your family? Yeah. Are they in the Rift Valley? Have, have they also moved out of the country with you? And is uh, Commissioner Cherera also under the same uh, situation, uh, uh, being uh, away from uh, the country, not by choice, but literally in exile? Is that the situation with Commissioner Cherera as well? And sorry. Thank you, co Chair, for that question. It's a very emotive question you had when Commissioner Masit was responding. She no, was really, she was really uh, shaken, and uh, it has taken a toll to all of us. I, being the vice chair and the voice behind the mic, and the team being dubbed by my son name, Cherera. Cherera Four. I am in my late forties, and I have a young family. My last one is seven years old. It was bad even in school. Our social life was really tortured. It was bad for my children. It was bad for my family. And I said some of things we cannot say them on camera because it is not a safe space for all of us. We've been threatened just because we spoke what we saw and what we know. 